and welcome back to the board game spotlight today we're looking at galaxy hunters this is the next game from idw games it's for two to four players and it plays in about 60 to 120 minutes so let's go ahead and take a look in Galaxy Hunters, players are going to play as a pilot and mech combination. So depending on the pilot that the player chooses and the mech that they pair it with, it will make a neural connection that will unlock a specific type of asymmetric power for that player for that game. So depending on which of the four pilots you choose and which of the four mechs you choose, you will get a different pairing or a different neural connection every game. And then you're going to take your mech, which is absolutely phenomenal. They're huge, very sturdy, absolutely gorgeous looking mechs. You're going to take those mechs and that will be one of your workers. You'll gain two of your other colored workers and then your fourth worker is going to go on the fourth round. Now the game's played over nine rounds. There are different actions for each round. So at the end of the fourth, you'll gain your fourth worker. These are the invasion symbols, which I'll cover here in a minute. And then anytime you see this money symbol at the end of that round, you have to pay for each of your, your ships. If you can't, then you will get negative points. At the beginning of the game, each player is going to be given a headhunter card. And this is set collection in the game. You need to collect this amount of specific DNA to turn this in and score those points at the end of the game. And then each pilot has an optimal loadout. So this is an optimal configuration that they want you to place upgrade tiles around your mech to score seven victory points at the end of the game if you do that. Now there are three spots off to the side of your mech that you can upgrade however you see fit in whatever orientation you want, but it does kind of give you a goal for how you want to build out your mech. Your pilot has two spots for your workers. This spot is going to allow you to take your mech from anywhere on the board and return it to your tableau to use again. And this spot is going to allow you to repair up to four of any color cubes. So you'll notice your cubes, this is the resource allocation. You will have to spend these cubes as you fight the mutations in the game. Now fighting mutations is one of the single most important parts of the game. You're a galaxy hunter and you want to track down and destroy the mutations that are coming out of the wasteland of Yulon. And so to do that, you have to purchase weapons. So we have weapon upgrade tiles. If our mech had this weapon, it would allow us to go ahead and use our mech to fight the mutations. We would come to the wasteland and let's say we wanted to go ahead and work towards our set collection. We would fight this monster. It would deal two damage to us, which just means we remove two of our blue armor cubes. And then we have to deal at least two damage to it. Our weapon does four damage. We have to pay one red cube to, to expend our ammunition. And then based on the weapon and our player's ability, we actually pay one less energy to when we fire that weapon. So that means that we've defeated that mutation. And then what we'll do is we'll look at the top of the stack. Now, this has to go ahead and fill in immediately. And then you look at the top and if you see the invasion symbol, that means that the mutation is going to go ahead and invade the planet where the invasion marker is. So this would be the first planet. Then we look back, there's another, which means it automatically goes to the second planet. And then we've chained into a third, which means that this now pushes to the fourth planet for our invasion marker. And we have three mutations that are taking over the galaxy. Now, this is bad for players because you cannot take the worker placement action slots there as normal. You need to clear out that planet or you can expend two of your workers. So you could place both of your workers on that planet, one to distract the monster and one to gain the listed benefits, or more simply, just go and destroy it. So you could send your mech, you can fight, you would then destroy that mutation and you would get the listed benefits. Now, in order to fight, there are a few stipulations. You must have armor in order to fight a mutation, and you must be able to deal enough damage to kill it. So those are two very important things that you need to consider as you fight. There are a lot of different worker spots on the board, and this is an absolutely gorgeous board. It's huge, it's well laid out. You can spend $3 to gain a pilot tile up here, which are going to augment your pilot and your mech. These are specialists that do the same thing. This specialist grants a passive ability. 
Anytime you see that arrow, that's an activated ability, which means you can flip the card to gain the listed benefit. This allows you to buy weapons and gadgets. Over here, you purchase armor and merchant tiles, and this is energy and metals. And so the metal tiles are going to be used as end game objectives. So this affords you an additional six points for completing your mech orientation. So there are a lot of ways to double dip on points. Uh, there are merchant tiles which are going to allow you to turn resources you collect into other resources so you can be more efficient with your collection. There are armor and energy hexes which when you purchase come with cubes on them so it's, it's immediately serviceable and ready for the, your player. There are obviously more weapons you can purchase and then there are gadgets and with these gadgets there are additional workers you can purchase and use and there is a ton of building out and customizing your loadout. When you defeat mutations, so after you have finished your action phase, so let's say we've placed all of our workers on the spots, and again, you'll notice that there's one spot for two players, three, four, and then this spot, which I'll go ahead and explain right now. So when you defeat a mutation, you gain the listed benefits. So this would give us two of the black DNA token, and we would set that near a player. We get a favor token, and these favor tokens are used when you want to purchase new headhunter cards, which again are your set collection for collecting DNA, and a few other in-game objective tiles will require favor tokens. You gain $3, and then you move up this many spaces on the reputation track. Now the reputation track is one of the sole ways to score victory points at the end of the game. So depending on where you end, you will gain the listed amount of victory points. Now this also ties in to the planets and a few of the metal in-game objectives. Now how this ties in is if we were to move to the third level and we have unlocked this ability here, that actually allows us to bypass, if another player's blocked us off, we can use this dock. We have gained enough renown and enough reputation in the galaxy that we have, I guess you could kind of say, we have our own parking space. We have our own dock at Planet Paragon that we can use. Uh, and so that is really interesting on how you can bypass that. Additionally, you can use the Arcadia portal, which will allow you to bypass uh, being blocked off at different locations as well. So at the end of the maintenance phase, any monster mutations you've defeated, you'll gain all the list of rewards. They'll get discarded. Every player will go through this, and then you'll go to the next round. It is a very fast-paced game. There is a ton of customization as far as loading out your mech. Again, there are in-game objectives, merchant tiles, armor, tons and tons of different just awesome pilot upgrades. There's more armor, more weapons. You can take less damage from specific types of monsters. The cards are just fantastic. Uh, this specialist gives you a plus two power when you flip them, so you've got a sniper. Uh, there is just a ton of really, really interesting decisions to make throughout the game and how you sequence your actions with collecting resources or when you need to fight the mutations. What exactly do you want to spend resources and money on? Because, again, you're going to have to realize that you probably are not going to be able to do everything. So, again, this is... Galaxy Hunters. This is on Kickstarter right now. So take a look at our description, go follow the campaign, and take a look at IDW's next big box hit. This has been Derek with the Board Game Spotlight, and we'll catch you next time.